Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to send Ethereum from Bybit to MetaMask in 2024. So today we're delving into the world of decentralizing the finance, specifically focusing on how to send Ethereum from your Bybit account to your MetaMask wallet, whether you're looking to hold Ethereum for investment purposes or uh, participate in a decentralized application like the apps, stick around as I guide you through the steps of how to do it so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to this url section just type simply by bits dot com and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen if you're logged into your account you'll find yourself logged in if it's your first time you'll find yourself on another screen uh, it should be like this screen here yeah you find the login here at the top right corner and sign up on the right of it so if you have an account you'll have to click on login and if you don't have an account click on sign up instead you can log in or sign up using google or apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of login or even creating your account you can even log in with sub accounts if you have that. And yeah. So once you log into your account, you'll find yourself on a page like this. So the first thing that you should do while you're trying to create or why you create your account on Bybit is to verify your identity. For the withdrawal in this video, it's not necessary. For but for any other option like depositing, trading, P2P trading, earn, any other thing, you will not be able to do it. So you'll not be able to get funds first of all into your bybit to send this into your metamask if you didn't verify your account so make sure to verify it to have access to all of those options for the verification of course you'll need the government id photo and a liveness check so if you click on verify now depending on the region or country that you're in they'll give you the document type that you should uh, have so choose whatever suits you as an example and as you can see the requirement should be valid uh, if you like used your id card for another way bybit account you cannot use the same for this bybit account you'll need to use maybe a passport or something like that and ensure it's original uh, photocopies will not we will not be accepted and those like students visa uh, working visa and travel visa will not uh, work are not supported and for the selfie of course ensure that's proper lightning and clutter free background and frame your face and prominently in shot and you can verify the app if you want to go and download this and verify with it so for me i'll just click on maybe later and yeah so now just go to assets as an example and check that you have the assets of course to uh, withdraw it from your uh, bybit to metamask now of course you'll have to go open a new tab go to extensions so go to extensions and make sure to click on this chrome web extension or sword make sure to look for meta mask and click on this first link and click on add to brave you'll have to add this or create uh, of course install it into your brave or whatever like browser you have and once it's installed you'll find it here on your extensions just spin it out so you can have access to it whenever you want once you click on it of course so let me just go and click on it so for you you will not have to log into your, into your account unless you have one if you don't you'll have to go and create a new account for example for me i have an account um we'll have just to simply enter that code in here and i'll be logged in into my account right away so what you'll need now is once you have your metamask accounts ready as we said we would like to send ethereum from bybit to metamask so here on bybit if you go to assets just go and click on withdraw and for this withdraw as you can see you will need to set up two things you will need to set up the google authenticator and you will need to set up the email so the email is already set up so we need to add google authenticator just go and download google authenticator in your in your phone and let me just show you how what's it so google authenticator as an example and hit the enter button yeah that's going to be the app so once you download you'll find yourself on the screen click on get started and log into your google account and then you'll find something like that click on the plus button and you'll be able to scan a qr code or enter a setup key so for me i'll just click on setup now and here what is a good like google authenticator where is it yeah it should be this one so google 2fa so verification code is sent to my email so i'll need to open my email provider which is gmail in here in my case so as you can see the code should be around and uh, coming soon so let me just refresh and wait for it until it's come let's just go here and check all emails just in case 
So they still did not send it. Let me just go here. And oh, I did not click on the send verification code. So now it's sent. And yeah, let's just wait for the code until it's received. Yeah, here is it. So 95, 25, 16. So 95, 25, 16. Click on confirm. And of course, as you can see, they give us a setup key or QR code. For me, I'll just click on the plus button, as you can see. And here, hey, I will just click on scan QR code. Come back in here, scan this QR code. And they will give me a code like this codes in here. So let me just go close this. Like those codes in here. And I'll have to enter that code in here. So I'll just go and enter that. And click on confirm. And as you can see, it is already set up. Now, I'll just have to go back to assets, click on withdraw. And yeah, as you can see here, you'll have to choose the coin that you want to withdraw or send from Bybit to MetaMask. So for me, it's going to be Ethereum. So I'll just choose or type ETH and click on that. And as you can see, you can do internal transfer between a Bybit account to another Bybit account. For, for us, we don't want that. We want the own chain uh, withdrawal. Of course, where is it for you? As an example, it should be like on the assets so you can uh, withdraw it or send it. So if it's not in your assets, make sure to deposit some uh, Ethereum somehow, of course. Then, of course, I just click on Bybit wallet. I should not click on that. And here, of course, the chain type. So we'll get that from like MetaMask. So the chain type is Ethereum Manage. And what I'll need to do in here is simply go and click on Receive. As you can see, they'll give us this. So just copy it, enter that in here, go to the chain and choose this chain right here. Sorry. So Ethereum Manage as example. So make sure to choose the Ethereum Manage. Where is it? Like the Ethereum Manage. So if you didn't find this in here, as an example, there is this BIP, uh, BCS, which is BIP20. And I have it already like in here for me. Of course, for you, you'll have to go and add like a new network and make sure to add like the BIP20. So you can look for BIP20. Of course, for me, it's already added, so I'll not find it. For you, just type like Binance, like Binance Smart Chain. And you should find it. Other than that, as an example, once it's added, of course, as you can see for me, already added in here, I can just uh, remove it and add it. And then simply just go back to your MetaMask and choose it from uh, there, choose Binance Smart Chain, or you can even use this Linear Manage because uh, if I noticed, it's fine. I find it there. So the Linear Manage, yeah, here's this, as you can see. So you can use that, you can use the Binance Smart Chain, just go and add your, your thing. Just search for it and add it. Once it's added, as an example, just switch to it. As an example, let's say we switch into Linea. So when, when we switch to Linea, as you can see, you find Ethereum here. So just go and click on I want to receive. And as you can see, copy this. Go back here. Enter the new one in here as an example. Or you can even, like as an example, copy it from here. So you can just copy it in here. And then enter that like... Can you like being deleted? Yeah. So just enter that here, choose the linea and enter the amount that you want to send. As an example, 10 or 100. Click on confirm. As you can see, I don't have some of my balance. So for you, click on confirm. And this is going to be the fees and you'll be good to go. You'll have to wait a bit, 10 minutes or something like that. And you'll find this right here and you'll be good to go. So this is going to be it for our video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.